Hello fans of flipping science, science, science. I'm your host, Mr. McKeown. Today I'll be bringing you a pocket science episode of flipping science. It's almost, it's an, almost like a nice spin-off of flipping science. So today we're doing pocket science. Mr. McKeown went out for a nice run this morning. He's on his cool down walking and he realized what's up with the weather today. So let's explain what's going on with the weather today since we're doing the meteorology unit. So Mr. McHugh's out for his morning run and he notices there's fog everywhere. And he's thinking to himself, well, where does fog come from? Um, you know, we see it all the time, we experience it all the time, but how exactly does it form? So that's what I'm here for you to do today is I'm gonna explain how fog forms. So fog forms when you have a mixture of warm and cold air. So tropical air with that polar air, right? Tropical being warm, polar being cold. And really what you're getting is a warm front coming in. So you're getting warm air slowly rising above cold air. And as this happens, the dew point rises and meets the temperature of the air. And as you're all experts on, when the dew point meets, meets the temperature, you get condensation. So really what's happening right now is, and I'll flip the camera for you. Hold on, I'll just move my phone. And what really what you're seeing right now with all this fog is a warm front coming in to Long Island. The warm air s slowly, the warm air mass slowly rising above the cold air mass. The dew point meeting the temperature and then water vapor in the air condensing. It condenses from gas into liquid. And that's what you're looking at in the air. That little haze, that fog is condensed water vapor. And so it's, it's a very moist day out, very wet air conditions today when it's foggy. Um, if you're driving in fog, it's not good to use high beams or strong headlights because there's so many water droplets in the air, the light reflects and refracts and it doesn't really help your visibility at all. So if you also notice the visibility isn't great, I could probably only see maybe that house at the end of the block plus some trees behind it. So fog, those water droplets also disrupt what you see because water diffracts, eh, refracts and reflects light. But ultimately, again, what you're seeing with fog is just usually a warm front. Now, it can be a cold front on occasion, but not typically. So a warm front where that warm air slowly rises above the cold air, the dew point rises to meet the temperature of the air and you get water condensation. And so you got a nice foggy day like today. <clears throat> and that's all I got for Pocket Science today. This has been a special episode of Flippin' Science, a nice spin-off called Pocket Science. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you can now explain fog to your family members at home during this vacation. And make sure to get outside. Make sure to get out of the house. Even if it's just to go for a walk, do something. Enjoy the fog. Enjoy the weather. This is the meteorology unit. So maybe I'll do more Pocket Science episodes where I talk meteorology with you. And take care.